Facing first in the blue corner, he felt the culotte noir. His black trunks proudly displayed the Mexican colors. In our registre un poids, the 167 point weekly, he weighed in at 167.8 pounds. Sefish, his professional record, an excellent one. 27 victories, only one defeat, with 21 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the IBF's number one ranked contender from the Habra, California, in the United States. Librado Andrade! Son adversaire dans le coin rouge, his opponent in the red corner. Il n'a besoin d'aucune introduction. Il porte la culotte bleue et argent. Wearing blue, red with silver. Son poids officiel, 168 livres. He weighed in at 168 pounds. Sa fiche, parfait. 22 victoires, dont 18 par mise hors de combat. His professional record. Absolutely perfect. 22 wins. No defeat. With 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ce soir, il règne avec une domination incontestée en tant que champion mondial de l'IBF. Introducing the current undefeated IBF super middleweight champion of the world, the Moya Lucha Bute. Remember, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. Anything below this belt here is low. Anything below this belt here is low. Okay? Touch gloves. The crowds I have ever heard. It has to affect these fighters. And here they go. It's Fute, the southpaw in blue. All in black is Lebrano Andrade. And he will be coming. Key here. How does he block out the crowd, as you said, Steve? And how does he make Boutte uncomfortable? Boutte's fought at his own pace for a long time. Andrade will bring serious heat. Lucien Boutte, a lot more amateur experience, a top amateur. Andrade, his record in those 16 fights, 3 and 13. And in terms of experience, very similar. Good right hand from Andrade. Butte got off some real good combinations. You can certainly see his excellent hand speed. But Andrade closed the gap, got around the jab, and nailed him with a right. And now he walked into that left counter. Butte really adept, Steve, at just turning, turning, turning. And that's going to be essential, using this ring wisely, huh, against this guy? I, I fully expect Boutte to build a lead in this fight. It's the second half of the fight that Andrade is going to have to come on. Oh, look at those combinations. And they start to flow as Boutte is letting his hands go. The one-twos right down the middle with that left. Well, Andrade having fought Kessler in front of thousands in Copenhagen definitely would help him in, the, in, in, in this experience. But the problem is not the crowd right now for Andrade. It's the guy with the right hand in his face. And getting around that jab, too, yeah. Here comes Andrade. He's got to do stuff when he's inside. He's got to make Boutte uncomfortable. But Boutte, right now, is the general in this ring, and he's getting off his offense and just doing more. He's showing that he's got more dimensions early in this fight, Steve. Don't count Andrade out, of course. Iron chin, iron will. Here he comes. Looking to let his hands go. Again, Steve, he doesn't have this rock-solid pulverizing power on Roddy, but definitely combination hey, hey. power. Yeah, he beats fighters with his will, not his skills. Okay, beautiful combinations. Establishes distance. There he is on the ropes. Andrade trying to put the hurt. But Boutte is back in the middle of the ring. Boutte with that almost hook of a jab and then a nice left hand. Big round for Lucien Boutte. And we'll hear the crowd endorse that. 
a great storyline and a fight with quite a few good storylines. Oh, yeah. Okay, adjustment time for Andrade. Steve, it's very early, but he hasn't done much right so far. Well, one thing to watch with Andrade that makes him very different from most fighters, his defense. He doesn't like to block punches with his forearms and gloves. He has a nerve problem in his arms, and his arms get numb. So he likes to ride with punches. Very strange, but in a, in a sense, it justifies when he gets hit in the face. Uh, he can take a shot. But he's got to win some rounds. Bute using the ring. Do the tight turns. He'll move which way he wants. And Andrade trying to come in, just showing him the jab against the southpaw. Right hand from Andrade. Purposeful movement from Bute. He showed a lot of control in that first round because if that crowd does anything to you when you're the local fighter, it makes you fight a little harder and a little more. And he showed control. He boxed beautifully, fought exactly how he wanted to fight. And he's making Andrade uncomfortable. He's making Andrade step back and reload. That is not where the man in black wants to be. He wants to start violating the champion's space here. And you know, Steve, uh, the weigh-in, the IBF wait, wait. rules, they had a weigh-in again today, and they both put on about 10 pounds. That's all they're allowed to put on. Uh, right. From what yesterday's weigh-in to, again, officially today, I think it's a great rule. But Boutte, my point, looks like a pretty big guy, and he's firing rapid-fire combinations now, nailing Andrade to the body. Andrade trying to get on track offensively. Hey! Nick, even if Andrade loses these early rounds, it's critical for his success later in the fight that he applies a lot of pressure. He has to take something out of Boutte Absolutely. early to be able to cash in late. Uh, the body would be a good idea. Not so easy to execute. No, Boutte, I... what a boxer. Andrade's got three problems now. The jab, the left hand that comes behind it, and Boutte's nice little subtle movement in turning to the sides. Yeah, and uh, he just tried to bully Boutte, which is a good idea as well, to really get him uncomfortable. But Boutte looks just as strong as him. Boutte in blue, Andrade in black, and here come the combinations again from Boutte. That'll get the crowd into the floor. Oh, looks like a head right there. Southpaw versus righty, it'll happen often, but Boutte jumped in there. Yeah, Boutte just picking him off with lead left hands now. Another clear round for Lich and Boutte, our title fight, and Showtime Championship Boxing is coming up next week. Trial matchups of Mahara Starchinian, more contrast, boxer against slugger. Can't wait for that November 1st. Championship Boxing here on Showtime. And we've got a title fight here on Showbox tonight. Round three, Lucian Boutte in blue. The world champion at super middleweight IBF and Lebrano Andrade trying to take it away here tonight. Andrade trying to get in. He's got to keep throwing. He's just got to be busy Steve. And in terms of the ring real estate every time Andrade has worked his way in and gotten close Boutte's grabbed him Boutte backing up now he'll swing off to the right he'll move to the left he's absolutely maneuvering Andrade around Watch the elbow. Okay, uh, let's go. Elbow <laughs> warning for Andrade. I tell you, Andrade landed a right hand, and first punch of note that he's landed in the entire fight. And what happens? He gets a warning. Here comes Andrade, tries to stick a right, but short. He's having big problems with the southpaw. Andrade's met southpaws. Yeah, at least four or five times. Otis Grant, Grant him, right? he's in three southpaws on record the last four years. Should be enough. Nice right hand from Andrade. Andrade now trying to make the champion uncomfortable, rattle him. And here comes that straight left hand. Interesting that the uh, champion is doing that, really scoring with those lead left hands against the right hand. Nice counter from Butte as, as he pushes Andrade off. Andrade just short with those shots and he gets wrapped with a combination. 
coming in. No man's land. He's in a wrong spot. Bad idea not letting his hands go. Well, Nick, it's all Boutte. What he has to guard against is sometimes when you're a boxer and you have great offensive success, you do a lot more punching and a lot more fighting because you're successful with your shots. He has to be careful and keep pace in mind. He's getting to fight when he wants a little bit. Andrade just standing there, not doing enough when he's closing the gap. He's walking in without punching. So Boutte gets a free pass, and there rocks Andrade with a combination. Andrade continues to plow forward, and he gets wobbled. That is more or less a push, but he got hit with a combination, Steve. And you watch Boutte's footwork. He's never against the ropes, or at least so far in three rounds he hasn't been. And the balance you spoke about earlier. It's clear he's got a lot of class. Rob yelling Boutte. We're in Montreal if you just joined up. This is a super middleweight IBF title fight, and Lucian Boutte in blue is the belt holder. Nice combination from him. Lebrado Andrade, now living in the United States, has come together. Great, so keep going. Action from round three. It's the first time we thought maybe Andrade was wobbled, but you see, Pute's right foot, Andrade's left, they tangle. Happens often with southpaws against righties. Andrade was not hurt. Now here, the, here's the end of the round. Watch Andrade. Big smile. Boutte smiles right back. You know, I think Boutte's uh, trainer, Stefan LaRouche, your interpreter, co uh, really nailed it. He said that Andrade's moved, pulling straight out, and that has really been a flaw in his defense. He gets hit on the way in. He gets hit on the way out. He gets hit a lot. Yes. <laughs> Andrade trying to make it happen. Oh, he got hit with a laser beam of a left hand from Boutte. And Andrade trying to get mean inside. He's just willing his way forward. Not avoiding enough punches. And Boutte controlling the ring, the action, the flow. But give it to Boutte. Doing a good job of avoiding those bull rushes. Andrade's mission, Nick, in the early rounds, even if he loses them, take something away from Boutte. He hasn't done it at all so far. Boutte can box 25 rounds at this pace. And yeah, Boutte just has more ways to win, Steve. Andrade's right hand to the body. Boutte backed off a little bit. So a nice body shot from Andrade. Coming in square now. Boutte got hit with a hook. He did. It's a big shot. So the best round of the fight for Andrade. Combination firepower and return from Boutte. Steve Andrade's got to win these rounds. He's got to pull himself into the fight. How does he start doing it? Well, I'll tell you, one thing he's not doing is the fight progresses. He's not jabbing his way in. Perhaps because he's facing a southpaw. Boy, but, you know, it looks like Boutte's head is there to be hit. But good head movement from him. He's not getting hit flush along. You see that a lot from Boutte. That jab turns into like a hook. And uh, it's a little bit of a sloppy habit in my opinion. It's really effective with that straight jab. Left hand over the top. Body hasn't gone to the body enough. And that's what I mean about taking something away from Boutte. Save, content to wait now and counter. And tie up. Andrade Nick has no history of cutting. I think he's cut only once in his career. But the heads are starting to bang. Oh, he got hit with a left hand there coming in. Andrade just can't, he's not looking sharp at all in terms of nailing Boutte. Boutte with an uppercut there. Still a better round for Andrade. Definitely. Those hands are coming together a lot.
Nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Just like in the gym. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three.